Hey guys, I got some exciting stuff to show you today. I, I told you in, a, in my previous video uh, for the shower pan that I was going to be doing some sleeping bag video content here uh, just to switch things up a bit. So welcome to a nice change career, man. Uh, this is just to kind of showcase the sleeping systems that we have um, in the previous one that I've had, which is this one, the Thermalite and uh, just to kind of compare and contrast the options here and uh, to get y'all introduced to, I guess, kind of what I have. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, I want to talk about uh, the ground pads that we have uh, for sleeping on. These are just sleeping mats that you put your um, sleeping bag on so you're comfortable and everything we this is mine this is a little bit older but it's still in really good shape it's called a uh, thermo rest z light and uh, my wife's she just got hers and uh, it's the same thing of thermo rest z light but uh, these make it so you don't have to sleep just on the ground you know through the tent because tent bottoms they're really thin and it would just be really uncomfortable especially if you found a rock on your back or anything like that this will just take care of that and you won't feel the rocks as bad if there's just really not an option to uh, camp in some nice ground that doesn't have any kind of things going on with it but um yeah these are actually pretty pretty comfy we just got hers because she had been sleeping on my old mat and uh, I don't have it in this video here with me today but uh, trust me it was definitely not as comfy as this one and as you can see there's just kind of like a honeycomb shape that uh, it's kind of like fun to put your fingers in and um, both of them have it uh, it looks like just brand new this this one's mine but her is brand new it looks just a little bit thicker and so it's got a little bit more cushion for her and um that should be nice and comfy uh, i'm kind of jealous i want a little bit thicker one but um it might just be due to compression over time i'm not sure also they're different colors so they might have switched up their design a little bit and made it a little bit more cushiony um so i i don't know i might have to upgrade in the future but this one's fine for now it does a pretty good job at keeping me comfortable at night so that's good so on to our first sleeping bag. This one, like I said, is the Thermalite Extreme that I've had for years and years. Uh, it's a Slumberjack um, model and it's pretty standard. It's got a, a green stuff sack with a little handle right there. Um, it's a 20 degree bag, like I stated. So it has been warmer in the past. Uh, here to now but I think it's just lost a little bit of fluff and everything I put it through the wash a couple of times throughout the years because just things have happened and um, it's gotten wet so I've had to dry it uh, in the dryer uh, just really fast in town sometimes just to get it dry enough for me to sleep on the next night but uh, it's pretty comfy I mean it's got just standard zip up so you can literally just zip this all the way down if you wanted to and uh, you know it's pretty roomy got a nice uh, toe box in here so your feet don't get cramped but um it's a little thin at this point and uh, just a little old uh, it's a mummy bag so you can put a hood around your uh, head and tighten it down to your preference whatever you want and um, served me pretty well though over the years I think it's time to uh, put this one up though unfortunately just because it is I, I don't really feel like it's a true 20 degree bag anymore um, it's definitely lost a lot of uh, thermal properties and um, so I just decided to upgrade and uh, so yeah uh, it's, it's a good bag though. I, I'm not complaining really. It, it lasted a long time, so So on to our next bag. 
Uh, here we have my wife's Kelty Cosmic Dom uh, sleeping bag. And uh, this one is rated for 25 degrees. And it is uh, looking. It's really purple and I like it. It's pretty compact, uh, but not the most compact that uh, I've seen. Definitely has got some girth to it still. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're ever packing uh, alone or anything that uh, this probably would not be like great if you were packing alone just because you would have to take a lot of things uh, other than your sleeping bag with you. Um, but it looks like it's really really warm. Uh, I've tried it out myself just for a few minutes and it about cooked me. Uh, a while ago. I think we got it like a, a year ago when we first moved um, to the new house that we're working on right now. And uh, it's a down bag, so it's got duck down in it. Uh, it looks like it's got a minimum down of 80%, 81% uh, duck down. And then the rest, 19% uh, polyester fiber batting, whatever batting means. But um, yeah, so let's tear this one down. Um, it's hydrophobic as well. That's kind of cool. So um, it doesn't, you know, uh, absorb water readily or anything like that. So. This one's pretty cool again. Um, obviously you got your zipper right here that zips all the way down. And um, yeah, twist it around here. Um, very roomy in here. It could fit uh, a person up to five foot eight inches, I believe. And uh, same thing again, it's got a hood system on it. Uh, to wrap yourself up, wrap your head up, and then a drawstring to tighten it down around your head so it doesn't fall off during the night when you're asleep. And um, it's definitely pretty fluffy. Uh, this is a duck down, so this generally doesn't take as much uh, to heat you up as a synthetic wood, synthetic down material. And um, this is a really good sleeping bag though for her. Uh, it keeps her comfy. It's really cushiony too. So with the ground pad and this, I mean, she she's probably pretty comfortable, I would imagine. And uh, again, with the foot box, it's got a pretty good foot box. It's really fluffy inside too. I mean, it's just everywhere you feel, pretty fluffy. So I wouldn't mind having the sleeping bag if it was longer. I'm. Uh, taller than 5'8", so I would have to have a longer sleeping bag, but um, I like the purple on it too. It's pretty cool. But yeah, uh, this one should be good for her for a number of years to come, and uh, just as long as we, you know, take care of it and stuff, she should be fine. You can't machine wash these really um, without the down getting matted down and stuff, so Unfortunately, uh, she'll have to find another way to wash hers if she ever decides to, um, you know, clean it or whatever, if it ever gets to smelling nasty. But that's pretty much like one of the only downsides I see to down besides weight. Uh, down is usually a little bit heavier and um, I mean, it's just got a little bit more material to it too and you can definitely feel that. But you trade that weight, you know, for comfort. So I think uh, for her, this is an excellent, perfect choice um, because she does want that comfort and um, she's not carrying that much. So uh, the, the weight really isn't much of a factor in her decision making on this bag. Um, just really what was most comfortable for her. So that's that. I did want to mention that we actually got this uh, recently along with my new sleeping system for her as well. Uh, this is a sleeping bag liner and it's used to actually just slip inside the sleeping bag that she's got. Um, or it, it's pretty universal, you know. But uh, it has a second layer of thermal 
uh, warmth to it and everything. So I think it looks really cool. It's I think it's made out of silk. Um, it's odor resistant. That's really good for her smell. You know, she smells so bad. But um, it's also machine washable too. So you can wash this in the washing machine uh, at least. So it, it'll actually help keep her sleeping bag uh, cleaner too. So uh, that's a, a nice kick to it. But uh, I mean, it's pretty much what you would imagine a liner would be. Um, it's basically just kind of like a sock that fits down into the sleeping bag itself. And um, it's got a drawstring on it as well, so you can tighten this down around your body uh, as you wish. But I mean, literally just goes like that. And that's what you get into at night. Uh, it, it does feel really good though. Um, it's got a nice soft feeling to it. I don't think it's silk actually. I think it's uh, like some sort of really cool cottony kind of stuff. Let me look at the bag again. Um, do, 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 do. Doesn't say anything on there. Um, I don't see anything actually. That's weird. It should. It's a fabric reactor. Thermalite fabric. So it's a patented thermalite fa fabric that you're getting when you buy one of these. This is the one that she chose because it had the most R value. And the R value uh, increases it 20 by 20 degrees. I mean, she's going to be cooking. So uh, it's designed for women and youth. And, um, you know, if I ever go winter camping or something, I'll definitely want to get a liner for this, uh, for for mine even, uh, just because uh, I mean that added warmth is definitely necessary when you get around 20 degrees or so. Uh, in my opinion, especially being skinny like we are, uh, it definitely helps put put you in a good spot to be comfortable for the night in your tent and uh, not to wake you up as much. I've wake, woken up so many times in the cold just uh, trying to get warmer so I could go back to sleep and that's really annoying sometimes just to be woken up like that. Ooh, it's got a tag on it. 100% uh, polyester. So that is what that is. Sea to Summit uh, liner, 100% polyester. Uh, adds 20 degrees. So that's, I mean, it's a lot of degrees right there that you're adding so essentially this bag combined with this uh, is a five degree bag so that's crazy I mean you could about sleep in the damn Arctic <laughs> not really but you know it's a nice addition to her system and I think she's gonna enjoy it a lot. all right so this is the moment that I've been waiting for because this is my new bag and uh, I got a Nemo uh, sleeping bag. My tent is also a Nemo. I recently just kind of started investing in Nemo, uh, starting with that tent over there. But uh, I liked it so much and I thought it was a good quality that I decided to give a Nemo sleeping system a try. So uh, this is just the bag that it comes in from the store. And uh, I mean, I, 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 made sure that the cashier knew that I wanted something uh, that would compact down more than this. <laughs> but she assured me that uh, there was a, a bag inside of it that it stuffs into. So, um, and let me just break it out for y'all. This thing is really cool. Uh, they have floor models out, so I already know what it looks like. But um, yeah, here's the bag right here. So. It should compact, and it's kind of an interesting, kind of funky bag that they gave with me too. It's got these straps, so you can really like pack it down, uh, pretty tight. And um, we'll see how far we can pack it down with this system right here uh, in a minute after I get this thing out and show it to you guys. So this is a Nemo Forte, and. Uh, this shit's just so awesome to me. 
I love this stuff. And uh, this is a synthetic bag, actually. It's got a lot, a lot of uh, just cushioniness to it, though. It's really nice feeling. And um, these uh, these bags come with this kind of like flap thing. So like, <laughs> I guess if you didn't want to see the light of day, you could just like put this flap over your face and. Uh, if you're just sleeping in a really cold environment too, like, and you didn't want your face to get cold while you're asleep, then you can put this over your face. And, of course, it's got a mummy hood. It's a mummy bag, so this is gonna pull over your head again, just like the others. And, um, this has actually got a left-hand, uh, zipper, which is good, because I'm left-handed. And, it's got good amount of room in here but this is also a 20 degree and um this is probably the nicest sleeping bag that i've ever had and um it's definitely better than the one that i have or that i had previously that i showed you at first uh it's got a lot of thermal properties to it i've laid in this thing for like five minutes and i've cooked and that just shows me right there it's gonna be fine to go cold weather camping in. Um, I might throw a liner in there too, just like I mentioned, uh, kind of like Kayla's. But um, I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to go test this puppy out and see how uh, cold it gets uh, before I really start to feel it and notice it. So. But I like the zipper too on this. Uh, a lot of zippers are just kind of like janky. And this one has a plastic guard on it, it looks like, so that it won't snag on stuff, uh, really. And with a lot of sleeping bags, like, if you need to get out of them real quick, or if you're just trying to pack up to go and leave, and like that, that zipper snags uh, on the material in the bag or whatever, it's just a pain in the ass to try to like get it unhooked and um, without ripping the bag too. Um, zippers are like my worst enemy. I hate zippers. So that's a really good plus for me personally. I love that little touch that Nemo did just to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. And uh, of course on the inside it's got a zipper for you to get out too. And uh, the other bags have that as well. So that's not any kind of new innovation right there from Nemo. That's just pretty standard on sleeping bags that I've seen. So, and I love the color. The color is really cool. I love green like this. It looks really cool. And um, I like the color combo with the blue. But uh, another neat feature on this sleeping bag as well is if you get hot at night, you can actually open these little gills on the side. These are your thermo gills, they call them. So this just helps you uh, get some airflow and stuff to yourself and makes the bag not as warm. So uh, it breathes a little bit, you know. I'm not sure how good it breathes yet. I haven't really tried that out, but... Um, just by judging this bag, I mean, at first glance, I'm pretty sure that everything has a function to it. And uh, the gills, I'm sure, I, I hope the gills work like they say, and they're not just kind of like a novelty gimmick kind of thing. Uh, that would be sort of a letdown, but I'll let you know when I actually go camping with this uh, bag for the first time how it does and uh, I'll make sure to know, you know, what the weather is like and stuff like that, and so, because that will definitely have a factor into that kind of thing. Um, again, with the toe box, this toe box is really wide, like, it's the widest of both of the other bags that I just showed y'all. Um, which is really good because I like to move my feet around a lot and um, sort of toss and turn at night sometimes. So I'm, I'm glad it's not like constricting because I hate being constricted, um, especially while I'm sleeping. I hate when my feet feel like they can't move and uh, it actually wakes me up sometimes. I, I got restless legs and um, I just need to move around. I need to thrash about. So. 
Uh, that's a good uh, function for myself personally to have. Um, and uh, I think the last little touch that I really like on this bag is the fact that it actually has a zipper right here that unzips and it's a pocket. So like if you wanted to put something small in there, uh, you could and you wouldn't have to worry about finding it like in the middle of the night. So you could put your headlamp in here or something like that. Just in case you need to get up during the middle of the night, you know, go pee or do whatever, um, you can do that without having to wake your partner up or uh, like just by trying to find the headlamp or whatever you needed. Um, so it's an added little comfort there just to know that you're going to have uh, your most valuable thing for the night right there if you need it. So. I mean, all in all, this bag is really good construction though. I think that it's gonna last me a long time and I'm um, really excited to try it out. So, I think that uh, pretty much covers this bag. But if y'all have any comments about the bags or anything like that, please let me know and uh, I'll try to answer them to the best of my knowledge. Um, this isn't like a paid sponsored video of any sort, by the way. This is just me expressing my interest in camping and the gear that I have bought and uh, I've decided to indulge in. So, um, I almost forgot guys, uh, I was gonna take this and see how far I could pack it down to. This is the first time I'm actually gonna be packing this bag down uh, in this stuff sack. So this is gonna be a learning experience for you and me. Um, so it looks like this kind of just like goes uh, cinches down after you've done it and uh, after you've stuffed the bag in but let me go ahead zip this thing up real quick uh, I zipped it down really hard right after I said I don't like zippers something bad happens there it goes All right. Okay, so I, I guess I'm just gonna start from any any uh, side here. So I'll just start with the tow box first. See how that starts to stuff in. So let's see. It's crazy to think about this bag getting down this small, but I've seen a lot of really big bags get stuffed down really small. So. And it looks like it's gonna be fine to stuff. No problems really so far. It's not even like hard to stuff this. Just kinda gotta rotate it every couple of seconds here to uh, make sure that it doesn't get all lumpy and stuff. Just gonna get the top down now. Oh, it's really easy. So, and it does look like it's bigger. You know, it definitely looks like it's bigger than the green bag already. Just, I mean, by looking at this for a second. But I just literally stuffed it any, any kind of old way. So I'm sure I could get a better, uh, com more compact kind of fit if I like rolled it up or something. Um, not sure. So I'll have to play around with that. I'm actually, uh, I can't say I'm like disappointed uh, at first, but I definitely thought it was gonna uh, fit down a little smaller at least. Let's see what kind of adjustment that these things have. Um, I'm not really sure. Like, Okay, so we're back. Finally got this to uh, act right, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, I just had to unbuckle these. I, I was kind of just being a retard on that one. Um, so yeah, this is this is a little bit more compact. I mean, I don't have it like extremely tight right now. Uh, I can't like really tighten it, tighten it down like a whole lot. I mean, I don't really have much room to either. So overall, I mean, this is 
definitely gonna uh, take up more space in my pack. But I think I can work around it and I'll be able to manage it just fine. So um, maybe I'll explore some systems though in the future that uh, tighten down a little bit more, you know? It's really not the, the fact that it's not tightening, or uh, just tightens down a little bit. It's the fact that it's kind of just bulbous. And that's not typically really what I want personally in my pack. Just because, I mean, you gotta just pack everything around it kind of. And I mean, being in the bottom of my pack, it's not gonna be a huge problem, but it will take up room. And, you know, it's squishy, so it's gonna kind of compress down if I needed to a little bit from this angle down. But, uh, I mean, basically what you see is what you get. So hopefully I can figure out a good way, a good method to pack with this. And, um, I'll, I'll change up a little bit of my pack kind of configuration now. Uh, the pack's definitely big enough to, uh, <laughs> sorry Joe, <laughs> to uh, support that. I mean, definitely big enough. And I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of extra room for the sleeping bag in my pack. But being the main one that carries the stuff, uh, most of the things for the two of us, me and my wife, um, I'm just gonna have to figure that out a little bit more. It takes planning and you know, that's the whole thing about backpacking though. Uh, you gotta plan good or else you're kind of screwed. So, uh, yeah. So there you have it. Uh, I've got three different bags with three different uh, configurations. Um, they're all different in some ways. And uh, I guess uh, that'll show you kind of just some compare and contrasting uh, for our setups. Here. So, um, I am really interested to get uh, our sleeping bags out on the trail again to use them. I really want to go on a camping trip sometime soon uh, if we can help it. And uh, let's see if we can get some uh, cold weather camping in here too. Uh, like I said, if I can convince my wife to go on uh, one or two trips, that would be awesome, but no guarantees. I definitely want to get a trip in before it gets uh, colder, that's for sure. So maybe in September we could uh, slip away from everyday life and go get some fresh air in the mountains somewhere. And uh, I'm looking forward to that a lot. I need it. Uh, I've been working on this house way too much and I know that she's been busy and you know, work just gets to you. So it'll be a really good outlet for us to just get some freedom again and uh, enjoy each other's company and enjoy nature. So uh, if you like this video, please drop a like. If you are not subscribed, please lightly tap that subscribe button and uh, we'll get you in here for some more good content. Um, right now, uh, the channel, like I've been saying, is uh, a lot of it is renovation on the house. And um, I know that not all of you like renovation, but uh, it's just what we're doing right now and that's what I'm taking my time to do and uh, might as well document it, you know? So uh, bear with me guys, I will get you some more camping and backpacking content here soon, uh, hopefully, cross my fingers. Um, but it was really fun shooting this video today for y'all and I hope you liked it. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I uh, hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and stay safe guys. See ya.